energy. When he tries to grab me, if I do that, he will force his hand, of course, against my body to neutralize my hara. So in that case, and I need to do so I have two options. Or I fool him with my energy, or I let his energy to come to an end, and then I can enter the technique. So, for an instance, he's going to grab me, I'm going to let his energy to come till he gets in balance. So, without stopping, of course, by doing this, I now can manipulate that energy and make it come back against him. So, this is the principle, as uh, you understand, I can do jutsu. Of course, some movements come from kenjutsu. I'm going to use my hand just like a blade. So, I'm going to unbalance his hara. So, for instance, if we go back to the sword arts, I have two options. I can cut him when he comes to doing Marco actually and come to his center line and I'm going to control this by the front of his body as you may remember any kind of Udeo side that I come from the front and bring the diagonal or when his energy already came I have an option of coming from his lateral and this I will make his energy to end and manipulate it in a spiral so it comes down. So coming back to Aikiji Jutsu, he grabs, I make the energy comes again to him, but in that case, without stopping, I'm going to pass lateral outside the center axle. So the characteristic of this uh, the beginning of circulating energy changing his hara level will come when I come outside. And then I can start turning at the same time that his energy will gradually come in down. So in this case, it's like making the energy uh, to implode inside him. Not coming to the outside, but actually concentrating on the hara and coming down. So again, so please pay attention that the characteristic of continuous technique will be coming outside and I come down with him. Another example of how to allow his energy to come to an end is if I go, for an instance, to the other side. So I will move at the same time as him. I will let the energy to come down, I will give passage to that energy, but at the same time, I will pass lateral. So in this case here, as you all may see, I don't block the energy on my shoulder. The energy continues to flow through my arm, coming from my back, and it's pointing down. And he's completely unbalanced again. So, for an instance, Wherever I can do uh, many examples of this technique, but in this case, I'm going to reverse the energy that was flowing and I'm going to make it implode, but now diagonal. So, once more, please. I'll have here, I'll let the energy come, the energy is flowing through my hand, he is unbalanced. So I get control of it and I'm coming diagonal. From here, of course, we may finish the technique in many ways. And please come son. So another example that we can see also how to end his energy and make it come back against him to manipulate it, concentrate it and then bring it down is for an instance when he's going to grab, of course he will force it against me. You must remember always that. So I'll let his energy to come just by doing that and then I will start to manipulate it. So I will come with my hands outside and up. So the important thing here is that you'll see that I have my elbow down and his elbow is up. So we have here a communication between energy, but it's blocked 
on his side and he will be also blocking on his shoulder while my shoulder is relaxed. So again, I empty, bring it. And now I'm going to make it to come down, exploding. So anyway, those are some uh, possibilities that Clara gave with Aiki Jiu Jitsu allow us when doing any kind of technique. Of course, we have always to keep in our mind those principles of emptiness and the opposite by making the energy completely full within his body and of course that it can affect the hara as we saw. So, of course, at the ending of the technique, let's just fall down by the sun. We can also see that because if I am here and his hara is stable, of course he'll try to react. So in any case, I must do in a way that this energy that was flowing through his arms will be blocked and will be coming back again to the hara. So I must do in a way, doesn't matter if I turn him, I press it, or actually I bend it. I must do in a way that his hara will not be stable. So in this way, he will not be able to react or will not be able to move. So I hope you understand that. Any doubts?